Hi everybody, welcome to Pop-Up Camper Pro. I'm Derek Smith, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install table legs on your Pop-Up Camper's table. Now you might be saying to yourself, come on Derek, it's just screwing table legs onto the bottom of the table, right? That's kind of what I thought too until I tried it. I always try this stuff before I show you guys how to do it if I'm not sure. Uh, luckily I had quite a few tables to burn through until I found the proper technique. Let me show you what I learned. Here's the tools we're gonna to use for this job today. All right, to start, I have a brand new table from my web store, ColemanPopUpParts.com. Piece of cardboard down on the work surface so the top of the table doesn't get marred during the installation. Now, you may be installing your new table legs onto an old table. If you are, don't trust the mounting holes. Make sure you do these measurements first, like I'm gonna show you, to assure that everything is gonna line up properly and close flatly. Not all the table legs are the same size, and even if they're off a half an inch or an inch, it's gonna change the location of the holes. If you can use the old holes, great, but you might need to fill them in with some, uh, you know, broken toothpicks, glue, let it dry, to give your screws something better to adhere to as well. You want these table legs to be installed tightly. So first what we need to do is measure the height of our legs from here to here. These are 26 inches. I'm taking the outside measurement here and the outside measurement to here. This 26 inch measurement is what we're gonna to use to space our legs apart on the table. So using this leg, I'm gonna line it up and find the center. All right, so we found the center. I'm just gonna use chalk to lightly mark the outsides of these legs. We'll use these little marks as a guide for installation. Next, I have some self-adhesive cap tape that I've cut to size. I'm gonna be installing on the bottom of each bracket. If you wanna pick it up, I'm gonna create installation kits for these uh, table legs and table leg brackets for you. You'll be able to find them on ColemanPopUpParts.com shortly. All right, just sticking these right to the bottom of each mounting bracket. And they overlap just a little bit. Lock this bar into place. Angle your brackets down. Make sure you're installing in the correct orientation. It has to fold in. All right, and repeat for the opposite one. All right, checking my distance. I want at least 26. I have 26 and a half inches between these legs, that's good. All right, now we'll start putting some screws in the table. All right, here's a trickier part. This guy needs to be lined up center of your table legs. It, it doesn't wanna sit like this, it doesn't wanna sit like this. It wants to sit in the center. So position it where it's gonna sit. Look down through the center of it. Make sure it's lined up and drill two pilot holes, one in each side. Now install two screws. I really should have a magnetized bit. Now you see this, it's, this is moving the back brackets a little bit. It's okay. This is a critical part. And repeat for the opposite side. Look down the center. Make sure it's in the middle. 
and drill two pilot holes. These two mounting brackets are going to be offset from each other. That's perfectly fine. Now at this step, you want to lay the legs down to install these brackets. What this does is allows the proper swing arm function of this bracket. If they're just a little bit off, this bracket doesn't act right, it'll stick up in the air or, or not collapse right. This is the trick. Make sure your caps are in tightly. Drill a couple pilot holes. and install screws. Test the function. That one's good. And we'll repeat for the opposite side. Lay the leg down flat. Position the brackets. Make sure they're in fully. And this is flat. Test the function. That's good. Perfect. We'll go ahead and just install the rest of our hardware, and this is done. Let's see how it looks in the Shenandoah. Not too bad. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. It's another do-it-yourself job you can do. Please subscribe to the channel, smash that notification bell to be alerted when new content is available and give the video a big thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. I will see you guys at the campground. That was not recording the whole time. Oh my God.